So for today, we're going to be looking at the Solstice Eververse video. Unfortunately, I didn't have internet last week and I just had a lot of other things to work on. So this, unfortunately, this was later than usual. But again, um, we're just going to be looking at the Solstice stuff and the free stuff later. You, If you guys didn't know, I did make a uh, basically a last call video where we do look at Eververse. And obviously, we look at all the stuff that she's selling right here. So if you want to look at that you can but we're gonna go through it in this video so i don't know why i even said this so let me know what you guys think i appreciate y'all let's just get into it so first and foremost this solstice event card upgrade trash never never get that beach date bundle which yeah i don't really care for these i'm gonna be quite honest i never really get these ever i would get this one actually this one is pretty cool unfortunately it's a ship so it doesn't make it looks cool damn that looks really cool uh, sunny day shell which yeah cool i guess and then we have the lambent luster titan armor set for the titans and i'm still not sure if i want to get this armor just because it's just the glow for the subclasses which i'm kind of like burnt out on that being said i've seen people do some cool shit with it and honestly i do kind of miss making some sets where you can ch combine the colors that being said Sometimes you don't have the right purple or the right orange or the right blue like it's that, that's like the biggest issue I have with trying to get these is the fact that like It's not a color. That's gonna be a one-to-one -one. that be and the other thing is these glows are very specific and Will not look good with other glows. So I don't know. I'm like on the fence on it. I'll see if I get it If not, I don't really care for it Uh, her splashy surprise What the fuck did he just throw at him? okay uh spare bowl <clears throat> and then building castles we have lovely look getting shade and then righteous for the other things, or more emotes, I guess. Uh, countdown. Uh, quad copter shell. Midway goer. Does this change color? It does change color. That's pretty cool. It actually changes with the glows as well. Hold on, let me see. That's not a good one. I think it does actually. Mm, I don't think it does either that or it takes really weird off colors for the glow because there is no blue and white for Grand Luster. So yeah, that's pretty cool, I guess. And then hovering Ilan Elanin. That looks pretty cool, actually. Does it shader well? Nope, it does not. Unfortunate. For the other armor sets, we're going to be looking at Refulgent Revelry Titan Bundle. I really wish Bungie, re not resold, but kind of gave people the option to get the base look of the armor because the base look of the armor looks way better i mean to be fair there's like almost no glow in this but i would still just want the base look and the non-glow because like just just because it's easier just to not really think about having oh well i have to combine it with a glow or something um we have condescent prism bundle for i'm gonna be honest this is the worst armor set that uh solstice ever gave us that being said the mark is super bitchin it's one of my favorite marks in the game and yeah oh, is there there's an overglow on it that's kind of gross so yeah all of it's pretty trash except that mark we're gonna be looking at the hunters and warlocks um at the end of the video so that don't be don't don't worry you guys will see we'll see yours as well sunstead oh man this armor set's super dope unfortunately i do think it looks way better uh, without the glow because the helmet looks super dope. I think the arms are cool because they're symmetrical The chest piece the boots everything. I legitimately used all of these pieces with the non glows and it just looks amazing um, Solstice Titan bundle. So this is one of my favorites um, just because There's just so many cool things the boots. I love even though they're asymmetrical as fuck I've made so many good sets with the boots Helmet is super dope. I think the mark is cool. I think the chest piece is the only weak part part of it and the arms are super dope. Um, that's pretty much it. Wow. So, well, to be fair, we're still missing like the two older ones, which I guess I can show you guys uh, later. So gyroscopic force. 
I gotta see that again. Okay. Uh, power pitch. Grand slam. Iron severance. I would get this one for sure. For sure, I would get that one. Uh, double dutch. It's the fact that y'all want like 10, like what was it, $12 for this emote is wild to me. Um, water gun. Cable skipper. Yeah, it's just like, why are you asking for $10 for this shit, bro? <laughs> Moat juggle. I'm sorry. I just, I don't see the value, bro. <laughs> it's so crazy. Uh, Power rising, which is the uh, Dragon Ball Z one. Uh, breathe in. I think I have this one, no? Uh, flag on the play. Actually, I don't think I do. Paperwork. Fishing. Festival dance. And then, oh god, there's so much of this, bro. Do I really have to look at all of these? I mean, just looking at these here would suffice, I guess, right? Oh, there's even more, bro. Wow, these are don't even have pictures. Um, fuck it. I guess people are. You, know, you didn't look at all of them. Fest, festive nest shell. Find shell. Seashell. Oh, I get it. Uh, sweet sprinkles shell. Goister. Tropic ca casual buoy trap. If I sound bored, I am. I don't want to look at these bumper boats. I so I kind of want to get this one. I regret not getting it last year, and I kind of want to get it just because it's stupid. Uh, we'll see. Off my lawn crab cycle quadricycle. Orem Pace, Golden Rider, Well Traveled, Scout Zeppelin. I also would get this one just because it's such a weird ship. Final Instar. This looks like a bug. Orate Dawn. This looks pretty weird. Argent Tea. I don't, I don't like this one. I mean, it's like this. It's this fin that I'm like, you're not in water. I don't know why you would need this. Uh, Summertide Kite. Guardian Pride. Guardian Glaive. Roller Dance. No Fair. Future high five. What the fuck does this mean? Sweltering heat. Twisty dance. Intimidating snap. Flick of the wrist. Silly handshake. That's stupid. Hip bump. Yeah, it's like $8. That's worth $8? The hit? Really? Okay. Solar Reverence. Happy Smiles. Aggressive Affirmative. I have this one. Confident Strut. I have this one too. I have all of them. Well, all of these. Raise the Roof. And we're not even going to look at these. Don't even tell me anything. Um, I'm going to ignore you. Splendid Vidois for the Wither Horde. My old beloved. And then Gilded Honors for Forerunner. So we're going to be looking at the Hunter and Warlocks first. And then we'll look at the free stuff. Well, not free, but the brightest stuff later. No. As for Hunters, so... I unfortunately got the white glows for the hunter 
and the first pieces was the chest piece and the arms and i really really regret that because honestly i would have just been okay with not without getting the white glow i think the white glow is probably the worst of it just because i, I rarely ever use it um that being said i'm not a fan of this uh, i think it's pretty terrible i think this is too much for the helmet helmet specifically um i think this right here this like thing i don't like it this this could have been without because i think the this being glow and the eyes being glowed i think that's more than enough but this is just over over like too much um yeah I, not a big fan of it i think these this is cool this right here is cool but like this having like an overglow over it looks pretty lame i think on the arms is decent like it's okay there um just because it kind of looks like uh the thing that uh shepherd would have the multi-tool i think that's pretty cool that's the thing that reminds me of it but other than that i'm not a big fan of this so it's pretty annoying uh, for the other armor sets, we have the Refulgent Rivalry, Revelry Hunter. I don't know. Um, definitely looks better than the Titans, but not by, not by much. Just because, like, the helmet does have some glow. There, you can see the glow in the back. It looks really cool. But other than that, like, you, there's a, the glow's right here, glow's right here. The glow's, it's so terrible. Oh my god. Uh, uh, the Candescent Prism Hunter bundle. I'm not a fan of this armor as well. <laughs> Um, I think the boots are pretty decent. The chest piece is super cool, but the arms and the the cloak, I wish the cloak was a little bit better. And the glow, I'm not a big fan of either. Like the glow, I just, I, I don't know. It's pretty rough to talk about this armor because like, I really have nothing positive to say about it. Um, Illuminous Hunter. That being said, this armor set, bitching as fuck. The only thing I don't like is the fact that the arms are asymmetrical. But you're, if you're a hunter main, you already know we're getting asymmetrical everything all the time, baby. Um, helmet, I'm not a fan of either. It looks a little too fat. But the cloak, boots, and chest piece are super dope. Um, we have the Solstice Hunter bundle, which is super fucking cool. Um, the boots are cool. The chest piece is cool. The arms are probably the weakest portion from this whole set, if I'm being quite honest. But helmet's super dope. And then the cloak, I think, is amazing. Um, and that is pretty much it for hunters hunters. Let me know what you guys think about your armor Warlocks, I still have not gotten your armor. So I will be wow. I do not like that helmet. That helmet is fucking trash bags, bro What who is who is the person who keeps designing these terrible helmets, man? This is not good at all <laughs> It's this right here Oh, Warlocks, I'm so sorry. Um chest piece is super cool though. Oh, Jesus uh, Boots, I actually don't know Boots look okay. Definitely the chest piece is the best piece from the whole set. Like the chest, damn, this chest piece. Oh, that has a tie. That's pretty, yeah, the chest piece has to be the best piece from the whole set by far. So that is pretty cool. Um, let's look at the other armor. So Refulgent Revelry Warlock. It's the same thing as the other classes. The glow is just like pretty terrible, like all around. Whoever designed the glows for this one did a terrible job. That being said, I do appreciate that it's not as bad is a, well not bad but not as like like there's other other ones that are like a lot like so spe specifically the celestine stuff i do think is a lot just because the a lot of the um lining i guess you would say is super bright that being said it's not as bad because if they did it for this one the lining or not lining but the engravings there we go if they did it for the engravings this would all have been just a big ass glow so it's one of those like it's better this way than the other way that being said i don't really care considering i never even got it <sighs> so this armor i actually hate as well that being said i think the helmet is the best piece uh the base look of it it just looks way better without the glow uh but the helmet or the chest piece i'm not a fan of the arms are actually decent i like them a lot um the bond's pretty terrible the boots are okay so warlock's definitely won with this armor set uh, Celestine Warlock, I really like this set. Um, I do like the boots. I honestly like all of it, if I'm being quite honest. Even the Bond, which I'm usually kind of like whatever's on. The best piece definitely has to be the helmet, though. The helmet is super dope. Without the glow, it looks amazing. You can't get the with it. You can't get it without the glow, unfortunately. So you do have to just kind of settle for this glow, which is definitely unfortunate. Um, and then Solstice Warlock, which again, I think this set is just amazing all around. Like, they really did a good job with this set uh, when they made it. Just because the helmet is super dope, chest piece is super dope, boots are decent, arms are super cool, 
the the bond is just whatever's but the chest piece and helmet by far are the best pieces and they did a good job at really showcasing the old armor the armor that it's uh like inspired by because if you guys don't know a lot of that armor from all the classes is inspired by this armor set the ego talon for the warlocks Ty hunters frumio frumio frumi my god frumios suit and titan's noble constant suit so you guys will see a lot of pace like for example uh a lot of the beginning sets like so this one is 2019 or 2018 and then 2019 these sets are sets that people still want to this day because they are amazing and yeah i re feel really bad for people who didn't get access to this armor because it does look super cool especially when you start doing like a lot of the fashion of this game you will notice that a lot of hunters will be using like the solstice vest majestic the solstice cloak majestic but a lot of them will do be using the solstice cloak renewed as well this one's just amazing and unfortunately this is just not available anymore because <clears throat> you will do some stuff like this and this one's really really cool specifically but yeah it's very unfortunate we, we don't have access to the 2019 and 2018 i'm hopefully correct with those two i think it's 2018 and 2019 sets that people are really annoyed that we don't have access to but yeah let's look at eververse one more time we're gonna be looking at the brightness and then we'll call it a, call it a day so pomegranate gloss ignore this set this is not a set that i'm working on this is just to showcase the the exotic which i'm working on jader's really, really cool though i definitely would recommend pomegranate gloss it does look really good uh rising sea foam we have celebratory entrance we have predator sun shell sweltering heat and then for the stuff at the bottom we have breach header four or six i don't even remember i think it's four mm, i don't care um i like this one a lot just because it it looks like something out of star wars which is super cool uh fuck it, i'm just gonna get it before i forget off my lawn well traveled quad copter shell righteous building castles and then for the transmit effects we have baroque entrance we have shocking entrance sand castle effects and then for the shaders welded brass this is a great shader if you want to glow a purple glow specifically like a really deep rich purple glow which you guys will see right here uh bruised blush old algae and that vintage timber both of these shaders only being available during this event so if you guys want definitely pick this one same thing for these two as well these are only available during this event so let me know what you guys think i'm currently working on the warlock exotics so uh this, well, however you say that shit and then the uh, speaker site i'm only i've already recorded all that i need i just need to edit it and then actually do the voiceover but unfortunately like i said i do have to or i said this in a separate video but I have to remake the Hunter and Titan video, specifically the uh, the Boots for the Hunters, this one, Balance of Power, and for the Titans, it was, oh, I still have to do the, the class items as well, I'm just missing the Warlock one, but for the Titans, it's the arms specifically, where are you? Uh, the Wishful Ignorance. And then the hazardous propulsion, unfortunately, I erased some of those videos. So I will be working on those as well. Hopefully, I'll be able to post those videos as soon as I can. Because once we're done with that, I'm pretty much... I've pretty much have caught up to everything that I've been wanting to do. So after that, we'll probably start working on some other stuff. Specifically, Final Fantasy XIV. Actually, I might do that even before that. Because I really want to do that i will probably do a comparison video and specifically like a very casual one where i have i literally go into each game and just show you the fashion and then later i'll give you like an in-depth like very edited video so that way you guys can see both of them so let me know what you guys think i appreciate y'all be safe i'll see you guys later